So, sir, in your name? Uh, my name is Antonio B. Money, for the record. Okay. You can speak on my driver license, which it is me. Okay. Uh, in relationship to the uh, uh, the date of 2018, June 26, were you there at the address 6551 South Vermont for any particular reason? Yes, I was. I was there to help the tenant run the print, move into the unit. Uh, was anything uh, verbally transpired between you and the landlord, Mr. Nienenpour? Yes, it was. And could you tell, tell us what happened? As uh, I am run Prince was moving into the unit and he was about to sign the lease for the unit from the landlord, Mr. Nevenpour. Mr. Nevenpour made a derogatory racist comments in the presence of myself and Mr. Run Prince, the tenant. And those declamatory uh, marks were what? They were racist comments. And he said what and, and when? What come out of Mr. Neiman Poor's words out of his mouth was, I don't normally rent to niggas. And uh, what day was that? That was located on June the 26th, 2018. About what time of day was that? I would presume that it might have been around 1 p.m. Approximately or? Around there. Okay. About 1 p.m. And, uh, you sending this message to who? This message is sent to Miss Sherry Douglas. Do you regarding the case of that fair house and employment, where she is the consultant investigator on this case, case number two zero one eight eleven dash zero four three hundred six two one. In relationship to the date of October fourth. Do you remember any of the details about that particular date, sir? Yes. The tenant, Mr. Ron Prince, paid his rent on that day. It's indicated as this paperwork is evidence as his rental check was postdated for the particular dates in question on that day to be mailed to the landlord, Mr. Neiman Port, to pay his rent. Was there any other um person that that information was sent to? Wale Sabri was present at the time. Okay. And this information pertaining to these rental checks was mailed and sent to Mr. Neiman Poor's P.O. Box from the Vermont Post Office in L.A. Could you tell us where that, that particular uh, um, address was located? Yes. Uh, 8200 South Vermont Avenue, Los Angeles, California. Okay. Um, during the course of um, the um, hearing of the unlawful detainment, were you there? Yes, I was. Was there a jury trial? No, it was not. If Mr. Nienenport says it's a jury trial, what would that mean to you? There would have been jurors there present. And there would have been people to decide the case. Okay. Uh, did you ever go online to check to see if the uh, the, the, the the information concerning the uh, the property was uh, in compliance? Yes, I did. And could you show us what information you found with this uh, certificate? From the uh, Safety and Building Inspection of Los Angeles, this occupancy certificate on the building not being up to part and up to code. And what date is that? Uh? It has not been up to part, and the last inspection would have been 1964, March. And is that signed by the... By the uh, Safety Inspector of the City. Of the uh, custodian of... What's, what does that say on there? This is uh, signed by the Department of Building and Safety by the City of Los Angeles, a custodian of records. Thank you. Uh, As you can see right here. And last up to part inspection for a uh, certificate of occupancy would have been March, I believe, 18 of 1964. Okay. It's outdated and it's not up to part.
safety inspection of their finder. Thank you, sir. Um, did you help at any time um, Mr. Prince move out of the unit? Yes, I did. And what day was that? That was on November the 24th, 2018, as indicated into this photo right here. As you can see the stuff out in the front that's moved out by the yard sound. It's yard sale which Mr. Run Prince wanted to sell the items that he didn't need anymore. Okay, so was there any photos that you, you might be able to yes. identify? Yes, a I little clearer than that? Yes. Could you so show us what those photos were and, and, and um explain to what those photos represent? Yes. This is the photos of when we moved out on November 24, 2018. This is the clearing of the kitchen, which is now empty. Was it? Okay. Where the refrigerator went also right there in that space in the middle. Thank this you, is sir. the other indicated photo of the main dining living room area cleared out with okay. all the furniture being taken outside on the day in question, which you can see in this photo. This is the bathroom that's cleaned out and cleared out with all the stuff, everything out of the bathroom. It's empty okay. on the day in question. And uh, where did uh, Mr. Prince move when he moved out? He moved into his RV, which is also indicated into this photo right here. Okay. As soon as he moved out, okay. he moved into his RV. All right. Okay, directing your attention to October the 4th, 2018. Yes. Um, were you present at the time uh, that Mr. Prince mailed the rent checks? Yes, I was. Do you have the, a copy of those rent checks that you can identify? Yes, I do. They're right here in this uh, paperwork here, the copies made, uh, in which he updated and paid Mr. Nimbor for all the rent. And I see on the, on the, uh, on this particular copy, there's also a copy mailed to the Department of uh, HUD on October the 25th, 2018. Uh, can you do you recognize it on that form? Yes, I do. Okay, and the date is what? Can you see that and tell us what it is? The date for that for the Department of Hood Housing is October the twenty fifth, twenty eighteen. Oh. Two thousand eighteen. Okay. Thank you. Uh